So today I am going to take everybody through the dreams in the diabetes, and those dreams are very simple and doable. And to prepare this presentation, the whole of my staff has helped me. That's why their name. Next, I, I am I am unable to change, so I will say the next. No issues. So Abdul Kalam say the dream is not what you see in sleep; it is the thing which doesn't allow you to sleep. Mad and passionate people, Doctor Parth Karta said, passionate people live their dream once so that wise worldly people can relieve those agonies again and again, which we see. And relive, and relive happy and healthy life. That seed was shown and sown by Banting. Next, so this presentation is dedicated to all hum suffer. That is traveling together and not suffering, and type W and one diabetes. So I will not uh, be fighting for the nomenclature. I have a simple nomenclature: insulin in injection deficient and dependent. And resistant for the life all over the world, and I have in that bargain receiver, their families, medical team, society, and the governing bodies. Next, so this is a very busy list which I will be covering. Next, so the story of diabetes doesn't start with the endocrinologist; it starts with the orthopedic surgeon. And in a sheer love for his fiancée Jane, who was suffering from type one diabetes, and after her death, he took it to his head to find, do something about the diabetes. And as a respect and a tribute to her, next, he discovered insulin. So the discovery of insulin is like a one. In the current figure of say hundred thousand lakh, if you remove that one, that is insulin, only zeros remain. So that is the hope, help, and heartfelt hard work, which is going to help our children suffering from this particular problem. And here, the hope or a dream is the most important. Next, so this was a scene before insulin. Children with a diabetic ketoacidosis will get admitted to the Toronto General Hospital Children's Ward, and the dead body comes out. But after that, this was a before and after insulin, and after that, that this particular ward was closed down, which was considered as a post-mortem ward. Next. So this is the survival of Juan and. Before to uh, 1921, death rate was 100 percent, and after that, it is a progressively increasing. And I am happy to say that it will be crying that juvenile child with the insulin depend cries because of want uh, uh, dies because of want of insulin, and that is a dream coming true. Next, so there are the devices initially, thick glass syringes and needles. Then insulin syringe, then insulin pen, jet injector pump, and the most important thing which I want to tell all the technologies all over the India to find out a port which can remain in the body for at least three to seven days, which will make multiple painless shots possible, and then we can use the pen without any much of a cost. And there are two pricks. Pricking for blood sugar and pricking for insulin. Uh, these two pricks, if reduced, the whole story will change. And I personally feel that the port business should be taken very seriously by the industry. Next, now comes dream true. CGM is on one side, pump on another side. And with the artificial intelligence and our own intelligence, and with the carb count and exercise training uh, physiology, we can achieve almost normal blood sugars throughout the life, and that is a dream coming true. Next, so initially there were urine sugars, urine ketone, 
then came blood sugar, then came meters for sugar, meters for insulin, and now CGMS. So the whole diagnostic history has taken a different toss. And that dream of diagnosing properly, managing properly has come true. Next. Now, two important trials, DCCT and EDIC, they have proven beyond the doubt the tight monitoring of blood sugar round the clock makes a difference in terms of reversal of and prevention of almost prevention of microangiopathy that is retinopathy, neuropathy, nephro, uh, uh, nephropathy and reduction drastically macroangiopathy. So this particular dream that once diabetes will develop the complications and die that is shattered and achieve something. Next. Now diabetes means no, no, no. That myth has been broken down by the variety available round the clock and with this variety and variety of monitoring and insulin, life becomes really happy. So diabetes no more becomes a disease of a no. Next. And variety of physical activity, exercise, marathon, triathlon, you name the physical activity and children with diabetes can do. So there is no more restriction in terms of this particular aspect of a physical fitness. Next. So discipline lifestyle on one side, that is a head of a coin and proper monitoring and insulin is a tail of a coin. When both are equally important, that coin becomes a true coin, otherwise it remains a fake coin. So lifestyle on one side and monitoring and insulin on another side, that is the most crucial thing and that dream has come true. Next. So almost normal control of metabolism, mental, physical, emotional, psychosocial, and economical, which was a dream. There was no question of all this because the child will not live long to have all this. And child has traveled from 1921 to 1921, 100 years. And we have seen those dreams are coming true one by one. And for that, so many organizations and efforts are involved. Next. So the variety of professions are possible. You name the profession and there is a juvenile diabetic, including astronaut. So what more I can say next. And you can achieve anything. You can be celebrity and you can celebrate in spite of the diabetes. And that's the message next. And the healthy, happy, fruitful life is possible. So these are all our couples with the juvenile diabetes. And this particular couple, both are juvenile diabetes, both have juvenile diabetes. And here is a child who doesn't have diabetes. And now this child is around 20 years old. And here is our Mina Fernandez. She is 75 plus with the diabetes from the age of eight years. So, fruitful and happy family life is possible. Next. So, there are different organizations, International Diabetes Federation, World Diabetes Foundation, American Diabetes Association, UK Diabetes, <coughs> Australia Diabetes, so many. And one of the, we will go through next. So I am very passionate about the CRY and the HOPE project. HOPE project has laid down foundation of education and CRY has a laid down foundation that no child with a diabetes should die because of the insulin. Next. So ISPAD, we, we have already heard and the Diabetic Association, RSSDI, all organizations all over the India are working day and night for its Cause. Next. 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 
I will specifically mention the role of RSSDI, ISPE, National Diabetes Education Program. These are our national programs and they are contributing a lot towards the education in diabetes. Next, JDRF is one of the best involved in a research with a motto of freedom from diabetes. They have achieved freedom from complications of diabetes. Now, next step is a freedom from diabetes and I am coming to that next. So, these are the different organizations again. Next. So, I have named all the organizations in India that I have access and I present this particular presentation to all these organizations to be used freely for helping, counseling and empowering. Next. So, now this particular new drug is available. Cost is bomb. But hope is like that. Next. That this particular therapy in the early part of autoimmunity, if given, it can increase beta cell survival and increase in the C peptide level. Today, it appears impossible. In 1921, insulin appeared impossible. But today, every child has a right to get it. So, similarly, every child will have a right of early diagnosis and early therapy, not curative, but definitely preventive. Next. Now, why I am so much hopeful about the lifestyle? So, this is me in 1984 with a liver tear, hypovolemic shock, fracture of the both arms and so many injuries. Next. Here you have to start the video. At the bottom, there is a switch. No, you go to previous slide. In the bottom, there is a switch and you put it on and you will see the video. So, I am always a hopeful and empowering because of my personal experiences with the different lifestyle changes. Next. Next. I am done this. Next. We are done with this. So, again, we come back to Abdul Kalam that we have to work throughout the day and the night for our dream. Next. I will be sending this particular presentation to all the people. It is in a word file which they can use freely. And now I am open to the questions. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thanks to organizers for the same. Thank you.